So it's the end of day two of the build of my Prusa Mark IV. Uh, let me see, try to summarize what I did. Um, I can't remember uh, Y-axis servo <clears throat> I added. Uh, pay attention to what you're doing because I accidentally put the X instead of the Y. It's, it's well marked. It was just my lack of attention. Uh, put the two Z-axis assemblies together uh, from the top to bottom. <clears throat> they say gently push this into the, the cavities down here and up here until it bottoms out. It took quite a bit of force to get it in there, uh, but it's well seated, didn't crack anything. Seems to operate very well. In tightening this, uh, I was able to get uh, the screw centered in the hole. Uh, also did the X axis assembly with the motor uh, and the extruder assembly. <clears throat> this is, uh, there's a lot involved here, a lot of wires that you have to try to put into a small cavity um, and then a little magnetic actuation here. You say it's supposed to move freely. However, these prints, uh, again, the small prints, actually a lot of the prints on this job, I continue to hope that the printer does better. Um, you can see and this isn't a, a part of the printer. It's actually a tool used to help with the assembly of the extruder. But, you know, the bottom looks fine. The sides are okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming that it was printed pretty quick uh, just to save time. Uh, but, you know, the aesthetics of, I mean, you can see the ringing going on. No, maybe not. Light's not the best. <clears throat> that's the bottom uh, here's a good example more you can see more ringing ringing of the printer going on with this um, still very satisfied with the instructions uh, the way the instructions are laid out almost makes it addictive to um, assemble this uh, it, it's hard to stop assembling it because they are very la well laid out uh, they're almost oversimplified, which in my opinion is far better than being undersimplified and being able to blow up a uh, high quality picture so you can see the detail has been instrumental. So uh, I'll continue on today. Um, I'm sure there's going to be an assembly here. Uh, there was, oh, in this uh, locking mechanism here. Oh, it's for the for the uh, filament. Um, I think this just snaps. Yeah, that snaps off and this can go out. You can see, you know, it's kind of hard to see where the filament goes through there and then against a couple bearings here. This side goes there and then it's spring loaded. But these printed parts are very small. They don't, they don't go together super great uh, but they did go together and he's they built enough of them i'm sure they know what they're doing uh yeah like i said look forward to finishing the day up um yeah, I, I may finish it today i'm not sure uh but if you are watching i appreciate it and if you have any questions about the build i would be happy to give it an attempt to answer thanks for watching